I have always wanted to have children. We would definitely um, pursue adoption, but we wanted to try IVF first. We first wanted to try to have a biological child. So it was very scary doing something that I was worried at the end of not having a baby. There is a high chance, actually, that this will work. It is a technology many people are turning to, even Catholics. We've always wanted a family, but it just hasn't happened for us. We've found out that I'm taking longer to produce an egg. They had to do a sperm analysis on me. The uh, count came up really low. Sometimes it can be depressing. If this is what we have to do, this is what I'm willing to do. The menstrual cycle of fertile women usually lasts about a month. During this time, and under the influence of the body's own natural hormones, a tiny sac within the ovary containing an egg grows to about the size of a grape. At a point midway in the cycle, this egg is released from the ovary and ovulation occurs. Ovulation is also regulated by hormones. The egg, which from this moment on is ready for fertilization, then passes into the uterine tubes to await the arrival of fertile sperm. Ovulation is a naturally occurring event, and the desire to have children is a similarly natural instinct. But that instinct cannot always be fulfilled. The causes of unwanted childlessness are numerous, but so are the means of treating them. The technique of in vitro fertilization, or IVF, removes several eggs from the ovary for fertilization in the laboratory. After a few days, one or two of these fertilized eggs, which are now known as embryos, are returned to the uterus in the hope that they implant and become a pregnancy. 
Women having IVF are given special reproductive hormones to encourage several eggs to develop in the ovaries. Final maturation of the egg itself is induced by the administration of a further hormone. 36 hours later, fluid containing the eggs is drawn from the ovary with a needle. This is usually performed under light sedation in a short outpatient procedure with the doctor using ultrasound to check proceedings. The eggs collected from the ovary are then mixed with a sample of the male partner's sperm, which has already been washed and concentrated. The eggs and sperm are left in an incubator set at 37 degrees for 24 hours so that fertilization can take place. During this time, only one of the many sperm cells will penetrate the outer layer of the egg and achieve fertilization. Following fertilization, the cells divide and multiply and form an embryo. After two or three days, a healthy embryo will comprise around eight cells. It is then transferred to the uterus by means of a thin, flexible tube where it is left to implant and form a pregnancy. I have always wanted to have children, and now that I have three children, I feel truly blessed to have a very full family and a full life. My husband and I always wanted to have a family, and the reason why we chose to do in vitro fertilization IVF was because we first wanted to try to have a biological child. And we always knew if that didn't work that we would definitely um, pursue adoption, but we wanted to try IVF first. My biggest fears about in vitro were that it, it felt like a lot of money and there were no assurances that you could get pregnant. So I was very scared, one, that it wouldn't work, I think after my first uh, attempt at IVF did not work, and so it was very scary doing something that I was worried at the end I would not have a baby. After we decided to do IVF, it took us a, about three months to get pregnant. We did the first round that was unsuccessful, and then we waited a month after we found out we were not pregnant, and then we went right into the, I think that third month we tried, and we were able to get pregnant. When I was in the beginning stages of IVF, when you're, they're instructing you on medications before you start, you go to the doctors a lot. You go to the doctors uh, and see nurses, and they draw your blood all the time. Um, they instruct you how to do shots, um, either in your stomach or your leg. I think my husband was really equally nervous because he, throughout the process, had to give me a few of the shots too. But um, So those first ones were very traumatic. But after a while, you got very used to them, and you would ice down the area. And in the beginning, I would, I would not leave the house. I would you know, not go out. I would do it all at home. But towards the end, uh, end of the IVF, first round, and also with the second round, um, I would take the shots with me, and I would do them at the movie theater, in the bathroom, and I would do them outside the house and felt comfortable. The first round, I think a traditional round of IVF can cost, for us, cost a little less than, I think, $15,000, like $13,000 to $15,000. I know some other clinics it can cost up to twenty. You know, I think I was surprised to have twins because the first time I did IVF with the frozen embryos, they put three in me and I only had a singleton. I had one child. So the second full round of IVF, um, they put two embryos inside me and I just assumed only one would take. So I, I was definitely shocked to get twins, but very excited, very excited. I would definitely do IVF again. I felt very comfortable with it. I loved my doctor's office. I felt very comfortable being there. And I, I think in a couple of years we might want to have a fourth child. <laughs>